Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything, Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. All right, now it's pretty freaking dark, right? Hell yeah, this game is excellent. Let me just say that this is probably one of my favorite games I've played in a while. It's actually stopping me from doing my homework. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this playthrough. It's a, if you guys like the original Legend of Zelda and stuff like that, then you'll definitely like this. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, you know, I've, I've played this. I haven't beaten it yet. I've only played it for about a day now, and I've gotten you know, semi far, so it's not like, you know, hey, this is, ba I'm basically like halfway decent in this game, so anyway, let's be Isaac. I like Isaac. Isaac's a pretty cool dude. Alright, so, actually I'm playing with the controller, not the mouse and everything. I do have my mouse right here, you know, but we'll move that out of the way. So let's do it. Alright, these guys are basically zombies. They'll chase you, so it's always good to kind of avoid them. And in this game, if you don't realize it, you're actually shooting tears. So if you ever, uh, you know, are pissed off at somebody, just shoot tears at them and they'll, they'll get their head chopped off. These guys, they can only shoot you from a distance, so as long as you keep your distance, you'll be okay. Um, same thing with this guy. For the weaker versions. Oh, shit. Alright. Let's do it, baby. Let's see what's over here. Uh, oh yes, you always want to get to the item room as fast as you can. I don't even know what this is actually. Oh right, the triple shot. Sweet! Yeah, basically in this game you'll find a bunch of power-ups in that little gold room and shit like that. You always want to get there right away. Um, there's also hidden rooms that you can find relatively easily. But not too easily. Oops, sorry. I was distracted by that bomb. Didn't pay attention this time. And you never want to go inside the room. If you notice on the map on the top left, there's like a little C, like a little scent sign. Don't go in there unless you have at least 15 coins, I'd say. All right, that was very uneventful. There's probably a secret room in here. There's probably to the left. I'm not gonna risk it though. I don't wanna use my bomb. I actually do have another bomb. Should I risk it? Should I see if there's a thing in here? Fuck it. Nope, all right, sorry. 
You, you know, you can never tell. And, and if you play the original Legend of Zelda, you know how it works. Basically, if there's a room that looks like it's sh there should be a room there, that's usually a sign that there is. Okay, this guy's actually really easy. The trick of being this I found is just staying on the side. He actually can't come from the side. Or at least I've never seen him do that before. So as long as you keep your distance and shoot him from far away, he shouldn't be able to attack you. Okay, apparently you can't cut to the side, but you can just move down. He won't chase you. Yeah. And, and if you notice, he's actually shitting all over the floor. So I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, yeah, this game is very interesting and very creative, I'd have to say. And actually, this guy, you can use to kind of farm a bunch of items and shit. Um, sometimes get two points, so that's always good. It's always good to keep shit. Bitch. Ah! And this thing will take off a full heart um, from your health, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, as you can see right now, you can't really shoot very fast. You know, in the very beginning, you, you kind of do. Oh shit. I used to be dead right now. Yeah. Once you get down to its second head, it'll be dead. Hey, that rhyme. Yep, one more shot, I think. One more shot, right? One more full shot anyway. Ah! Bitch. Alright, we're good. And let's see what we got here. Alright, got our HP up. We're doing good, baby. So I, I love I let me just say I love Isaac's dreams of how he just dreams of him dying. Look at that. He he dreams about him falling through the door and dying. That's this guy, I love this character so much. And this game is basically like a spin-off of the Bible story, if anyone's familiar about it, how Abraham was supposed to kill his son. Oh, I've never seen that anime before. Um, but then, you know, Angel stopped his hand. So this is kind of like saying that, you know, there, something else happened instead. So I like that. Let's see what's in here. Oh, wow, look at this shit. Damn. That is a lot of items. Let's see what's in here. Book of Shadows. I'm not sure what this does. So we'll save that for later. Oh yeah, and always put out the fire. And it's wet the poop up, so you can use it for later. Um, so yeah. <laughs> this game, I, I just like the dark sense behind it. And, you know, I think it attracts a lot of people that, you know, I don't know. They have to have that certain kind of taste in games. And if you have that certain kind of taste, it's pretty much the best ever. Okay, let's test this thing and see what it does. Oh! Oh, it's like a shield! Badass! I don't know how long it lasts, though. Hopefully it gives me some kind of... I don't know, see if I can use this shield to my advantage. There we go. Oh, okay, it starts blanking shit. Because, you know, I hate when shit gets this that, That's actually really useful. I think I'd rather have a shield than a uh, than an attack item, honestly. But yeah, sometimes we'll get items in. It's always very helpful to use. You actually get kind of two items you could use, you know. There's, there's other like side items you can use that are pretty useful. Alright, so get that. Uh, Alright. I'm actually gonna have to end this part really uh, soon. Simply because, alright, so these explodes. Okay, okay. Um, so uh, here's the second item I was talking about. And that's actually, I don't know if anyone knows what Resident Evil is. That's like a thing that's making fun of. And these pills will always be random, so you always wanna be careful how you use it. You know, I would actually recommend using it when your health is down. Um, but I'll use it now to see what it Tears down. No way, hey, that's bad. That means my shit is even worse now. But anyway. So, yeah, sometimes they help you, obviously, and sometimes they don't help you. I just realized that they don't help you all the time. Just, I just thought, yes. And I want to just say this game is a little creepy. There's times where you'll pick up your mom's underwear and your mom's lipstick. I think that's kind of hilarious. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's just a little weird. Just saying, you know, I'm not the kind of guy that, uh, is like that, I would say. You know, let me use this, because oh, I can't use my book shadows. Yet. Damn. Fucker, die! you think you'd be weak against my tears. Oh, god damn it. I think that probably recharges his health as well. They chase you down. Damn. damn. Alright, so anyway, it's kind of... These things are actually a lot more easier to kill when you know they're coming after you. Simply because something's... I think something's a lot... Uh, easier to kill when you know what it's gonna do. You can predict what it's doing, so it's all right. Um, okay. 
Oh yeah, these things are kind of sad. I feel sorry for killing them. They look so sad. And they don't even, they don't even try and attack you, really. They just kind of, like, cry. So anyway. I hope you guys enjoy this playthrough. Uh, I really enjoy this game. I recommend picking it up. You can get it for, like, $4. It's really cheap. Then, of course, you can always pirate it. But, you know, I recommend buying something like this. You know, I always like supporting independent games. Opposed to, like, you know... They got... <laughs> If I was going to steal anything, I'd steal a game that has like billions of dollars or probably not billions of dollars. Anyway, that's another topic. See, I'm just going to defeat this boss real quick and I'm going to cook my chicken because I am fucking starving. Um, and Isaac, you're a little bit of a creep wearing your mom's lipstick around the dungeon. But you know, that's just me. Maybe that's just me. I don't usually like putting my mom's lipstick. So. Oh yeah, this guy's actually kind of a joke of a boss. Uh, there actually are a lot of hard bosses in this game, but this first couple, couple bosses will fire and decorate. They're kind of like, just like tutorial bosses. Because I mean, all this guy does really is just jump. And if you can get it just right, he'll only jump at you. At least that's what I've noticed. Like, if you get close enough, oh shit, there's only other one for that. Ah! You can actually shoot his little bubbles, but I wouldn't recommend trying that if you don't have a good rate of fire. Yeah, see, if you, if you stay too far away, he'll just do that super jump and won't jump away. And then he'll use his long range shit. So you want to kind of get close so he'll keep jumping at you. This is what I mean. Oh, okay, now nice, he's not doing it. Damn it! Do it, you asshole! I'm trying to do a goddamn turret! There you go. See how he's just, like, jumping at you a little bit? Fuck! You know what to do? Fuck this guy! Alright, never mind. That doesn't look out so well. Um... There we go. Let's look. And let's see what I got here. Ooh, breakfast. Perfect. Alright, and sometimes you'll see a door here that leads to some room, and it's actually the devil. I don't recommend doing deals with the devil. Um, they're never really that worth it. At least I haven't seen anything that was that worth it. Anyway, so I'm going to end part one here, and then I'm going to go cook my damn chicken because I am starving. And then we'll meet me at part two, maybe. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Leave a comment. Okay, goodbye.